Hello everyone and welcome to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today with musicteacher.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys a really cool cab rig trick that you can use with any of your amped products to get you out of some tricky situations. So if you're someone who is gigging with an amped setup, whether that's amped one, two or three, and you're using cab rig, you've probably got your favorite cabinet sound set up for the rooms that you typically play in. So let's say you typically play in small sub 150 capacity venues like pubs or rock clubs, and you want a really big cabinet sound. You've probably got that room cranked because you want to create that sense of space in a small environment. But what happens if your band all of a sudden get a gig in a 5,000 seat venue? and you've got this huge cab sound that's swamped in an artificial room sound, and now you're putting that in a big room, it's gonna get very lost in the mix. Now, you can't adjust the cab rig settings on the fly unless you've got your laptop on the road with you, but what you can do is you can be prepared by setting up some presets, and that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. So I'm using the Amped 2 for this, and I've just got this dialed in with just a pretty basic rock tone like so. That's just a pretty solid rock tone for whatever kind of purpose I might need that for. Now I'm using the first position on the cab rig switch on the back of the unit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you over to Architect and I'm gonna show you this really cool trick that can help you set your amped product up any venue that you might encounter. So in Architect, we can actually save three patches to the device. Now you'll see that my patches are called small room, medium room, and large room. So these three patches are actually all the same patch. The only difference is this room section in the middle. So I've got it set up as a 2x12 classic UK combo with a 4 2, one dynamic mic in the on axis position. And I've got the EQ set exactly the same for all three positions. But what you will see is as I change the switch on the back of the unit between the different presets, nothing is changing other than the menu where my mouse is right here the room size. Position three is large room, position two is medium room, and position one is small room. Now what this means is I've basically got the same cab set up for three different rooms. So if I'm playing in a small room, I might use the large setting because that's gonna add much more space to my sound. So if I'm playing in a small place, I wanna create a big space. And then if I'm playing in a really big place, I might wanna use a small room because I don't want my cab sound to get lost in the mix because I've already got a big room. I don't need to create another big room and put it inside that room. I've also created a medium room sound because sometimes you are just playing in a medium room and you just want the perfect cab sound for that room. Now what this means is you can literally take your amp setup anywhere with you. And whatever your room size is, you're kind of prepared for it. So I'm gonna show you the differences. So in the small room, when I play, we're not gonna get much of a decay. You'll notice here I don't have the reverb switched on. So all the reverb you hear is the actual room that's added in cab rig. So here's the small room with these current settings. Now that's Kind of dry, there's a little bit of an ambient tail there because that's sort of the idea because like I said, if I'm playing this in a big room, I don't want to swamp that out with additional room space. When I'm playing in a medium room, I might use this setting. This is going to add a little bit more of an ambient tail to my sound. So you can hear there, there's a touch more of a delay tail, and then when I'm playing in a small room and I want to add a lot of space, I'm going to use my large room preset. And you can hear a much bigger delay tail there. So I'm just gonna go through the three settings and play a muted note so you can hear the tails. So 
So on its own, it's quite subtle because you don't really hear the expanse of the reverb when it's just this on its own. But like I said, if you put that into the physical space, then you will notice a difference. This is a really simple tip you can do to any of your amp products if you are using them for gigging, and it can really make a big difference in how that sounds in the room, especially if you're using all your cab sounds from this. You want to feed the front house with a sound that's going to work for that room. Like I said, if it's a big room you're playing in, you don't want to give the front of house a bigger room sound. You want to give them a small room sound because the big room's already there. You can use the small room everywhere if you want, but I find it's quite nice to have the large room option in here. If I'm playing in a smaller room, I can create that space if I want to. So that's the way I always set them up because I think it's just a great way to maximize my chances of getting my cab sound perfect in every venue. If you've got any cool tips like this that you want to share with anyone watching this video, fill them down below in the comments because I'd love to hear how you guys are using your amped setups for live use as well. Don't forget to check out Blackstar Amplification for more free videos just like this. And if you're looking for a music teacher in your local area, please head over to musicteacher.com. It's a great network of teachers all around the country waiting to help you guys out. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you soon.